And so it was that the once proud kingdom of Glenbrook did fall. Acefrost seized control of the Crown City, threatening to bring the surrounding domains under its iron yoke. Now the Archduke's army marches upon House Wolfort's stronghold, where Prince Roland is being sheltered by his loyal friends and allies. Your most honorable siblings, Lord Thallus and Lady Erica, have arrived, my lord. Thank you for the escort. You may go now. If there is anything else that you require, anything at all, you need but say the word. In that case, I would have a bottle of the realm's finest wine and a serving of fresh fruit delivered to my quarters. But of course, milady, I shall have the servants fetch it at once. Ever eager to please, isn't he? I believe the word you're looking for is... sycophant. Congratulations on bringing Glenbrook to its knees, brother. It's a thing of beauty, what you've accomplished. I trust you're already seeing to that fuss outside the castle walls? Of course. The other domains are putting up little in the way of resistance. Lord Tellior trembles in his seat within the stronghold, and Lord Fox was oblivious to what was happening until it was far too late. How easily the three high houses of Glenbrook break under your iron boot, brother. Wolford is the last to hold out. But of Laura will deal with them. Prince Roland will be in our hands before long. <sighs> Speaking of royalty, brother, I would have thought Cordelia would be dead or rotting in jail. Yet here she sits on the throne. She looks less a vanquished princess and more a queen. That is precisely what I would have her be. Whatever do you mean? Once things have calmed, I shall assume guardianship over her and have her crowned. <sighs> A few days hence, Regna will be executed. I've already informed Patriot as much. So the wise and benevolent King Regna meets his end at last. <laughs> Father! Subjects of Glenbrook, I am Gustadolf, Archduke and High Commander of the Grand Duchy of Esfrost. Hear my words. The sins King Regna has committed against us, and against you, his own people, are grievous indeed. What has he done to us? I don't believe it. Three decades have passed since the end of the war. In the years since, we have all done what we can to rebuild our nations. The opening of the Grand Norzelian Mines was to be the dawn of a new age. An age where our three nations would work together for the peace and prosperity of all. But King Regna spat in the face of that glorious dream. As our engineers worked tirelessly to put success within reach, your King Regna schemed in the shadows to seize control of the mine for his own profit. And when Dragan Esfrost, my dear cousin, and the man tasked with overseeing the mine's operations became aware of this plot, King Regna had him assassinated in cold blood. In doing so, he betrayed not only my own nation and the holy state of Hyzant, but you as well. The very people who were to share in the wealth the mine would bring.
And so we were left with no choice but to march on Whiteholm Castle and put an end to Regna's treachery by force. Our actions were born of a righteous duty to avenge Dragan's murder and this odious betrayal of this historic accord between our nations. What say you, King Regna? Do you deny these charges against you? <sighs> I do not. But I beg of you, spare my children. Subjects of Glenbrook, your traitor king admits his guilt before you. The punishment for these crimes is death. Off with his head! Roland. Cordelia. The future of our kingdom is in your hands now. Just days after the fall of the Crown City, King Regna of Glenbrook is beheaded before his subjects. The death of this kind and benevolent monarch plunges the realm into confusion and chaos. With the king perishes an all too short-lived era of peace, and in its place, one of bloodshed and turmoil. Minister Sorsley. What is it this time, Booker? We've just received word that S. Frost has launched a surprise invasion of Glenbrook. Whiteholm burns as we speak. What's this? The Crown City has fallen. King Regna was beheaded. And it is said Crown Prince Franny also perished in the fray. Prince Roland has fled to the domain of House Woolfort with the Grand Duchy's army in close pursuit. Goddess forbid. What could the Archduke be plotting? And what did the others think of the manor? At any rate, I must speak with the Hierophant at once. Minister, if I may assuage you, I propose that perhaps this situation may yet play to House End's benefit. Our benefit, you say? Indeed. Indeed. You may have the right of it. My dear Booker, whatever would House End do without you? Send a bird to the palace. Tell them that the Holy One's faithful servant Sorsley would humbly beg an audience. At once, Master. House Falks has failed you. I have failed you. Hi, House. Damn it all! When you needed us most, we were not there to answer the call. How did we not see what they were plotting? How did we not know to go to your aid? Cursing our fate will not bring you back to us. We must focus our efforts on the one who might yet save Glenbrook from downfall. We must protect Prince Roland with our lives.
Whatever is House Telior to do, with King Regna gone, we must find a way to preserve ourselves. Landroy, that proud fool, will no doubt fight to the bitter end. But House Fox alone is no match for the Grand Duchy. Uh, yet if House Wolford were to fight at their side, they say Prince Roland is in Wolford's charge. If this is true, there's a good chance they will join the fray. Or will they? The Warforts may choose to ransom the Prince to Esfrost, in return for amnesty for their own domain. If it comes to that, Esfrost will either kill the Prince and Princess, or use them as their pawns, and Glenbrook will fall. Bending the knee to Esfrost may be our only hope if we are to live to see tomorrow. It would seem things have calmed outside the castle walls. What is to become of us now? Word has it the King's Guard's been slaughtered to the last man. We must flee while we have our lives. If they meant to kill ordinary folk like us, wouldn't they have done so already? Even as frosty dogs have some honor then. Who'd have thought? Anyway. There's no point fighting. What'll be, will be. Our people seem less resentful of Esfrost than I would have expected. No doubt due to the Archduke's decision to focus their attack on the castle and leave the town itself unscathed. So, the common folk won't be a problem. That just leaves the matter of the royal family. His Grace and the Crown Prince have been dealt with, and Princess Cordelia has been brought to heel. Prince Roland is the only one unaccounted for, but the men I arranged for hunt him down as we speak. Word has it there's also a sizable bounty on his head. No, he'll not last long. I knew Gustadolf to be a shrewd man, but his attention to detail is nothing short of astonishing. I have seen all I would. Let us return. What is the realm coming to? Hail, fair maid! Well, if it is an Arador, have a seat. You've ample choice. Who are you and what have you done with the barkeep? <laughs> the one I know ain't prone to melancholy. She is when word of a fellow barkeep's misfortunes reaches her. It's all in this letter. People are taken to plunder and to survive this war and my friend's tavern was destroyed beyond repair. Here's hoping your fine establishment escapes unscathed. Aye, I can't bear to think of what I'd do without this place. My heart goes out to you, as if times weren't hard enough with customers. <sighs> I can't think straight for worrying so much. Well, you're a soldier, aren't you? Can't you just go out there and crush your enemies so we can be done with all this? <laughs> If only it were so easy. What I wouldn't give to wield a flagon every day instead of a blade. Never took you for the type to make excuses, Arador. Arador is doing everything he can. 
The realm suffers because of my failings. Forgive me, Lord Woolfort. It was hardly my intention to blame you. What with things being as they are, I haven't been myself these days. But enough of this. All the moping in the world won't change a thing. It's time for action. My lord, as you can see, I'll have no choice but to shutter my tavern if the war doesn't end. And soon. So let me join you. I think you'll find that pouring ale isn't the only trick I have up my sleeve. Ah, but where are my manners? Pasabar is the name, my lord. At your service. A barkeep I may be, but good drink isn't the only way I know how to heal what ails people. I can vouch for that, my lord. Pasabar is good to have around in a pinch. And I see no reason to refuse. You are most welcome among us. Ha! Heartening to see you're the decisive type. I won't let you down. And you've made a good decision as well. Couldn't have picked a better lord to serve, I tell you. Aye. I gathered that the way you're always singing his praises. Thank you for agreeing to see me. My name is Yulio. So, you're looking to pledge your service to us, eh? They tell me you're from the Crown City. Something happened to drive you our way? I'm afraid so. Why have you brought me all the way to this place? Whatever it is you wish to speak about, I should hope it is important. I am a busy man. It is indeed. It concerns the Grand Norzellian mining venture. Pardon me if I'm being presumptuous, but I came across a most curious thing when I was reviewing the particulars of the arrangement the other day. There were documents that I did not recall having seen before. Specifically, documents pertaining to the compensation of the workers contracted to transport the iron out of the mine. Is that so? Following the paper trail, I could not help but notice that a not insignificant amount of coin had made its way through paths most circuitous and befuddling into your hands. Something easily overlooked at a glance, but my eyes are sharper than most. No doubt you have a logical explanation for this? I haven't need to explain it. Even if I were guilty of whatever it is you have the gall to accuse me of, there is not you can do about it. All that I have done, I have done with Prince Franny's full backing. You would claim that His Highness is complicit in this? The high and mighty are always scratching each other's backs. Everyone knows that. Everyone, it would seem, but you. <laughs> to think the Crown Prince would be party to such corruption. Has our kingdom truly sunk so low? It would fall on your head should word of this get out. Considering the nature of the crime, I shudder to think of the punishment. Luckily for you, I have every intention of keeping this matter between us, so long as you don't go running your mouth. Why, I'll even toss in some coin to sweeten the deal. A fair enough bargain, wouldn't you say? Coin? I spit on your coin! I will not remain silent! I cannot! I will root out the rot of corruption that plagues our realm, no matter what it may cost me. You stubborn, self-righteous fool! I'd hope to settle this as reasonable adults, but it would seem that... Sound the alarm! The kingdom is under attack! Esfrost strikes! 
What's this? Needless to say, the circumstances make my return to the Crown City impossible. Pray allow me to be of service here. Ah, now it's coming back to me. You were Sir Maxwell's second in command during the tourney, weren't you? You didn't stand out much, but you held your own well enough. Aye, I reckon we can find use for him yet. Very well then. Be welcome among us. Herador, see that our new friend gets settled in. Thank you, my lord. You have my word that I will serve you well. I can't thank you enough for accompanying me to gather supplies, Lord Saranoa. But I hope I've not usurped too much of your time. Not at all, lad. Not at all. I was heading back to my encampment anyway. More importantly, this area is rife with this frosty. I hate to think what would happen should they discover you or any loyal to House Wolford out here. I cannot much bear to think on it either. My lord, there's someone here! He's... he's dead. Those are Glenbrook colors. He must have met his end at his frosty steel. I... I know him. We're... we were friends. He had such praise for the blade I forged him. This blade, here. The broken one. It failed him. I failed him. And now he's gone. You are not to blame for his death. But... We are at war. I'm sorry, my friend. I'm not as skilled a smith as I believed. We risk much lingering here. But let us give him a proper burial before we depart. My lord... You needn't go to the trouble. It is no trouble. It is all I can do for him now. And I shall curse that I cannot do more. I... Thank you, Lord Saranoa. My lord, ever since that day, I haven't stopped thinking about how I might put my smithy skills to better use. I didn't truly grasp the reality of the situation. What it means to be at war. What duties I have as one who forges weapons. Though I am but a novice at my craft, I will not ignore the truth I see all around me. I will face it and stand strong. That's why I... I wish to fight. Are you certain you're prepared to wield steel outside your forge? I am. I need to better understand what it means to live or die by the blade. A lesson I hope to learn by your side. Then you are most welcome among my ranks. A novice you may be, but you have the makings of a master. Thank you, my lord. I, Ians, hereby swear fealty to you. I shan't let you down. Lord Saranoa, thank the heavens you're safe. It is good to be home. Castle Wolfort is the most impregnable stronghold in all the kingdom. You will be safe here, your highness. 
Thank you. I can only hope Father and Sir Maxwell are safe as well. Benedict, there is news. What's the matter, Benedict? You look as if you've seen a ghost. Your Highness, my lord, pray try to remain calm. His Grace was beheaded at the Crown City not bells ago. Father... No! Say it is not so! Roland... I can only imagine what you're feeling now, Your Highness, but I fear we have not the luxury of grieving. As the last living heir to the throne, there is no doubt that the Archduke will target you next. Indeed. We must move quickly. I would seek Father's counsel. About Lord Simon. Hmm? What is it? Has something befallen Father? Father! Lord Simon, what is the meaning of this? He collapsed when he heard the news from the Crown City, and has not opened his eyes since. You must be mad. The man was stronger than an ox. We cannot afford to lose Lord Simon. Not now, of all times. Father. Be strong, Father. This realm still needs you. I still need you, Father. Father. Sarah Noah. Is there any chance he will recover? Our healers are doing everything they can, but none can say. Very well. Do not give up hope, Zeranoa. The malady will not take your father easily. Forgive me, Roland. I can only imagine what you feel now. I must stay strong. I cannot allow father's death to be in vain. You too must remain composed. For Lord Simon. And for those who now look to you for guidance in his stead. I will try. Pardon me, my lord. I come bearing a message. From whom? The scout we had sent in search of Sir Maxwell returned with this. Sir Maxwell's mask. Reports have it that it was found near Whiteholm Bridge. Blood. No, it cannot be. This mask was all that was found, you say? The bridge was all but overflowing with the bodies of the fallen. It was not possible to ascertain all of their identities. And the swift course of the river thwarted any efforts to search further. I see. Thank you for the report. Get some rest. You have earned it. Yes, my lord. Sir Maxwell... You too abandon me now? <sighs> At Gustadolf's command... S. Frost musters its forces at Whiteholm Castle and commences a march on the Wolfort Domain. Their aim, to seize in their clutches Prince Roland, the unwilling heir to Glenbrook's throne.
My lord, the Esfrosti army advances on us as we speak. A missive has arrived from Lord Gustadolf. It says they will stand down on the condition that we surrender Prince Roland to them at once. We've not much time before they're on our doorstep, my lord. Word has it that General Avlora herself heads the vanguard. Gustadolf's not taking any chances. The scheming bastard. <sighs> Summon the War Council at once. We must take swift action. You cannot be serious about this. It's all right, Frederica. Please continue, Benedict. Thank you. Once more, I would ask you plainly. Do we or don't we relinquish Prince Roland to Estrost? I say we refuse. We owe Sir Maxwell that much. Precisely. Sir Maxwell entrusted us with keeping his highness safe, and we accepted. There's no place in the realm more sheltered by the terrain than this castle. He is safer here than anywhere. And yet, if the Archduke were to march on us with an army as great as the one that took the Crown City, or, heaven forbid, a greater one, the natural fortifications of this land would work against us. Our shelter would become our jail. So you propose that we just abandon him? That we sacrifice his life for our own protection? Better my life than any of yours. This is my battle. I would not see the blood of my friends spilt in my name. But see, Your Highness, that's where you're wrong. House Wolfort's the sword and shield of the crown. You go to battle, we go with you. So it's always been. Enough! I will leave before I see your domain ravaged by fighting. It is the only way. Surely you see this, yes? I refuse to believe sacrificing any of us is the correct path. My lord, we cannot allow war to come to the Woolfort Domain. Your highest priority must be to your loyal subjects. You must decide. As his vassal, I must fight to protect the prince. But as their lord, I must ensure my people's safety. I am sorry, Saranoa. Pray do what you feel is best for your house. I will find some way of helping my family. Your mind is made up, then. As the master of this domain, you and no other must decide how we proceed. I understand that, Benedict. Prepare the scales of conviction. I would hear everyone's thoughts on the matter. I will give the signal when it is time to cast your vote. I ask each of you to weigh the matter carefully till then. Very well, my lord. To our own councils we go.
I... Lord Saranoa. In that case... I need time. It is time to cast our votes. Do we surrender Prince Roland, or do we protect him from those who would do him harm? Approach the scales of conviction with your token at the ready. I agree. The scales of conviction will illuminate the path we've chosen. The way forward is decided. We protect Prince Roland with our lives and drive Esfrost from our home. The judgment is made. The scales tip and our path is chosen. We must steel ourselves for the battle that lies ahead. No, I cannot agree to this. Have you no idea how much blood will be spilt? How many will die in my name? This is a decision we have reached together. We do not make it lightly. Prepare the defenses. We will hold our own against the army of Esfrost. After consulting the scales and reaching a consensus, House Wolfort resolved to shelter Prince Roland. Not long after, they find themselves besieged by an elite subset of Esfrost's forces. Commanding the Duchy's armies is none other than General of Laura, the deadly warrior who claimed the lives of Prince Franny and Sir Maxwell with her own hands. Pardon the intrusion, Your Grace. A bird has arrived from House Wolfort. Concerning Prince Roland, no doubt. Hmm. So they refuse to relinquish him to us. How intriguing. 
They will remain loyal to the royal family even if it means their demise. Very well. Send a bird to General of Laura. Tell her to make for the Wolfort domain at once, and that she is to return with the prince. Or not at all. Yes, Your Excellency. Ah, Lord Tellior, there you are. Yes, what is it? Tidings from Whiteholm, my lord. House Wolfort shelters Prince Roland within their domain and refuses to acquiesce to S. Frost's demands. What's this? Those fools would stand in defiance against the duchy. The Archduke's forces move against the Wolforts as we speak. They intend to capture Prince Roland and bring down House Wolfort in one fell swoop. Hmm. House Wolfort is strong, but not strong enough for a full-on attack from the Duchy's forces. <sighs> and yet, there is always the chance, however slim, that they will prevail. Best wait and see how the situation unfolds. Yes, there is no need to rush into anything. We must consider carefully what will afford us the best chance of survival. Continue to keep your eye on the other domains. I must know of any movement among the wolf forts and the fox, no matter how inconsequential. Yes, my lord. So they would rather die than bend the knee? Wolfort truly is a house of fools. At least Evlora will have the chance to prove herself on the battlefield. That's why we took her in, no? She'll prove useful yet. For her own sake, I would hope so. Once we bring down the highest of the three high houses, what do you suppose will become of the other two? <laughs> I should think the answer obvious, dear sister. The cowardly Tellyors will be at our beck and call. The Falks, too stubbornly loyal for their own good, will not. House Falks presides over bountiful lands. Now, do you suppose brother will pass up the chance to claim such a tantalizing prize? Indeed not, brother dear. <laughs> You are aware that Prince Roland fled to the Wolfert Domain after the Crown City fell. S. Frost demanded that His Highness be relinquished to their custody immediately. We have just received word that Wolfert refused. A most admirable display of loyalty to Glenbrook's royal family if ever I have seen one. And they are not the only ones who shall remain true. In the name of King Regna, House Fox II will take up arms against those as frosty bastards. For we are one of the three high houses of Glenbrook. We will live up to that name and fight for our homeland with our lives. Aye! 
May your shields be strong and your sword strike true, my countrymen. For Glenbrook! Avlora? Are you certain? Yes. We are surrounded by the Archduke's main forces, led by General Avlora herself. She killed my brother and my master. I must avenge them, even if it means my life! Your Highness, your life is far too important to so blithely throw away. I know that, and yet... Facing the Asfrosty forces head-on is a fool's errand. They will drive us back with ease. Let us consider another strategy. As a matter of fact, there is more to this town than meets the eye. It is a secret which, under normal circumstances, would be divulged to a new lord only after their succession is made official. But desperate times. I sent a man just now to make preparations. Come with me. We haven't much time. I would hear more of your plan, Benedict. They say Castle Wolfort was built into a mountainside. Am I to believe there are yet more secrets concealed in its construction? Just so. As it happens, a contrivance of sorts was installed in the town to be used only in cases of dire emergency. What manner of contrivance? I've never heard such a thing. You wouldn't have. The information is divulged only to the Lord of the House and his closest advisors. It is a secret, one that embodies this town's true worth. I see. Then what, pray tell, is this town's true worth? The towering walls that rise up in all directions, the network of sloped waterways. This town appears as any other to my eye. But perhaps my gaze is untrained. It is the canals we will use. We shall pour flaming oil into them from above and burn our enemy out. What in the... Benedict, have you gone mad? Do you see those hawk sculptures located throughout the town? I do. They are the means by which the weapon may be activated, I presume. Indeed. Tearing them down will trigger a barrier to rise around the canals. After that, no one will be able to get in or out until the blaze subsides. You would burn people's homes. No, the very town itself, along with our foes. But just think of the lives that may be sacrificed. This is the path we have chosen. There's little choice left to us if we wish to survive. We must win, whatever the cost. Prepare for battle.
How fare you, Benedict? My preparations are complete. I trust you're ready as well, my lord? As ready as I shall ever be. We have given ourselves every advantage that we can, my lord. Indeed we have. I only hope that it is enough. My lord, the Esfrosty forces are on the move. And so it begins. Our foe advances. Take up your positions, everyone, and be ready for the signal. Shall we, my lord? Yes, it is time. The battlefield is no place for children. I will have vengeance for my family and for my master. Prepare to die! Empty threats from a pampered prince. You will see what true might is. All's in place, my lord. Ready when you are. Very good. Now, to lure them where we want them and initiate the device. You are aware of what will happen next, yes? Yes. And I am prepared to make the sacrifice. With me, everyone. All companies, advance! Leave no survivors! I would not be here without my allies.
Enemy reinforcements are past the outer wall. Follow General of Laura! Let no Wolford cars survive! The town is surrounded, and enemies flood in by the moment. We knew getting into this that we'd be outnumbered, but victory's still in the cards if we're smart about it. I cannot bear the thought of sacrificing my people. Must I make a callous choice for the greater good? Have Laura. Mark my words. I will send you to the depths of hell by my own hand. Flee while you have the chance. Time to work. Shadows can see me. For victory! I shirk from no danger! So House Wolfwick would set their own home ablaze to bring us down. I must admire the desperation. Town! How... General of Laura, the second regiment has arrived. Forward! Leave no trace! Quail not at their numbers! The battle is ours. Regiment has arrived! To think we need to deploy all our forces. You are a worthy foe, Woolfort, but your fortune ends here. Come on then. Yeah! Well, congratulations are in order. Defeat is not an option. Here. We doing this? I strike true. Come at me. Show me what you're made of. I shall do what I can. Go quick. I can do it. I'll take it from here. We can do this. I'm going for it. Allow me. With the powers in me. We will make our ideals reality. My turn. You won't catch me. Charge! Yeah! 
<laughs> few have ever wounded me, and fewer still live to tell of it. You have courage, I'll give you that. But this is as far as that will take you. Avlora, you murderous bastard! You'll pay for what you've done! You will share the same fate as your master! Time to take flight! Leave everything to me. This might sting some. Ouch! From where shall we strike? To work. Ha! Face me if you dare. Ha! No! Surrender! Ugh! This is my chance. Uh, this will allow me. Two ashes. Come at me. I'll be your shield. Cool heads shall prevail. Your wounds are good. Much appreciated. I'll take it from here. Take that! On my blade. Time to take flight. Ha! Ah! Leave everything to me. Was nice knowing you. Too slow. The honor of House Wolfort. Ready. You're done for. That's it. I shall do what I can. Be at ease. Thank you. 
Time to take action. You won't beat me! I will end this. Allow me. Sound strike. It's over. My turn. Oh, this will hurt. Here I come. We doing this? Gotcha. Victory is within our grasp. Bah! You welts are nothing before the might of S Frost. And where shall we strike? My kith and kin. I'm a fool. You left yourself <laughs> open. Feisty, aren't we? This should do it. Shall we begin? The tides are turning. I still have so much left to do. You've left yourself open. I'm a fool. Fool. I've been waiting for this. Face me if you dare. Impressed? I'm a fool. Your orders? Impossible! This is my chance. This battle is ours. Goodbye! The situation is grim. I need this. the end. Flee while you have the chance. You'll be nothing but a blood stain <gasps> upon my surrender. They got me. Oh no. This is my chance. Come at me. You're done. I love the battle. Cool heads shall prevail. Your wounds are healed. 
Much appreciated. I still have so much left to do. There! <laughs> Perfect! I will end this. This is the end. Too slow. <laughs> Now's my turn. <gasps> Perfect. <laughs> Ready. Gotcha. Time to take flight. This is my chance. Effort. You will not get the best of me. When a wolf is cornered. On your guard. You're open. Feisty, aren't we? We must tread carefully. We're not done here. Let me heal your wounds. Your wounds are good. Thank you. I still have so much left to do. Yeah. We went weakly. Let's go then. Ha. <laughs> One more round. Right. Well, congratulations are in order. Have we no choice but to retreat? I'll take you on. The mad bastards! To think they would set their own people's homes ablaze! Retreat! All companies withdraw at once! Victory is ours. Though both sides suffer great losses on the battlefield, in the end, it is House Wolfort that triumphs. The vanquished General of Laura is forced to retreat to Castle Whiteholm with the Esfrosty army in tow. I have no words to excuse my failure, Your Grace. I underestimated the Woolfort army. It will not happen again. Indeed, it will not. I will accept no apology for your incompetence, save victory. The Woolforts may have gotten the better of us this time, but it came at a cost. We must strike again before they can regroup. Rest yourself of Laura. 
I will have need of you yet, and soon. I shall not disappoint you again, Your Grace. You have my word. And you will keep it. Nothing and no one will stand in my way. To be quite frank, I underestimated House Wolfort's strength. To think they were capable of driving off the S. Frosty army forces like that. I suspect the outcome came as a surprise to the Archduke as well. And yet, something tells me Wolfort's victory is more than a fluke. I shall keep that in mind. Still, this development is to our advantage. This will only make it easier to carry out our plans. Just so, Your Excellency. Everything is proceeding as you anticipated. Yes. We shall have our way. It is but a matter of time. House Wolfort triumphed? Yes, my lord. The Archduke's army has already withdrawn to the Crown City. That said, it would seem the Wolfort army suffered significant casualties. Did it now? It is not as if I entirely failed to consider the possibility of an Esfrasi defeat. And yet, it is hardly an ideal development. <laughs> Whatever are we to do now? Wolfort may have won the battle, but can they win the war? Hmm. My lord? Ready a bird. I have a missive that needs sending. As you command. Bring good news, my lord. As Frost Army marched on Castle Walford in an attempt to seize the prince, but they were roundly defeated by House Walford's forces and retreat to the Crown City as we speak. Joyous tidings indeed. I knew the Wolforts wouldn't let us down. I'm also pleased to report that Prince Roland is unscathed. It would seem young Sarah Noah is more than capable of carrying on Lord Simon's legacy. Triumph as they did, they still suffered considerable casualties in the battle. It is more than likely that Esfrost is already preparing for a second attack. Very well. Take stock of our own forces and determine how many men we can send to House Wolfert's aid while retaining enough for our own protection. Yes, my lord. It is time to take a stand. If the three high houses come together as one, I am certain we will prevail. I shall see to the wounded. I will help as well. My hawk can assist with clearing the rubble. My thanks to you both. Your aid is most welcome. I am ready. Go safely, Anna, and give my best to the others. 
We take a risk in entreating a powerful nation for aid. I need you to determine to what extent we can rely on them, if at all. Leave it to me. I've sent Anna to the holy state of Hyzant. Our alliance may not be what it once was, but we must seek help wherever it may be found. In a perfect world, we would be able to count on the cooperation of our neighbors here. Indeed, unity within Glenbrook is of the utmost priority, especially now that we've ensured Prince Roland's safety. And yet, we cannot count on houses Tellior and Falks to act in our best interests. We must prepare ourselves for every contingency. You are right as always, Benedict. We've taken the first step down our chosen path, but there is no telling what awaits us. Do you have a moment, Your Highness? Oh, it's you. As silly as it may sound, I've never truly understood what it meant to be royalty. Does my life carry more weight simply because of the blood in my veins? So much so that the lives of others must be sacrificed in my name? You need not worry about that, Roland. Lord Wolfort speaks true. The scales of conviction guided us, but this decision was ours. We have chosen to walk this path with you. I was born the second prince. No one expected great things of me. And yet, simply because I had the good luck to survive, my very existence now necessitates all these sacrifices. If I may be so bold, it was not luck, your highness. We protected you. I know this, of course. That's what makes this so hard. You all fought and continue to fight for me. And I can scarcely take care of myself. I need to become stronger. I must. For my own sake and for yours.